What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris and I have another belt unboxing for y'all today. Uh, today we have a AEW TNT Championship belt made by Capco Belts. I bought this uh, second hand from a different belt group. I'll post that in the description below. Um, all I can say is just from the photos I've seen of it, this is by far the best replica belt plate wise I've seen from any maker and on YouTube. Now there are some slight etching issues I'll go more into detail about, but overall the quality and the crispness of the belt, it just looks amazing. Um, what I can say about this belt as of right now, when it comes to the etching, it's pretty noticeable what was focused on the most. I would say more so the main plate was focused on. The side plates could have a tad bit better etching, but as this unboxing goes along, you'll see that, and let's get right to it. Here is the belt. Now, I can honestly say there's no TNT replica belt that looks like this anywhere on YouTube. Um, I would say this more so looks like a custom made TNT belt because from the TV accurate ones, there's no silver plating on the champion, uh, I guess like ribbon at the bottom as well as these, uh, this texture behind the TNT. Now, what I can say, just from feeling it has great weight to it, I believe this is four millimeters um, zinc, I believe, and has a great curve. Like, let's just sit this down real quick and I'll show you the curve. This has honestly the best curve I've seen on a TNT replica belt. Like, it's, it's there. It's definitely there. So I'll break into a more in-depth close-up look starting now. All right, so as you can see, this has pretty good etching. I got it for $250. I know some buyers or belt collectors don't mention how much they pay for these belts, but you get what you pay for. Um, the leather, it's, it's okay. Not the best that I've gotten before, but it, it has some floppiness to it. I've had floppier leather though, from like my big eagle belt from a few months ago. Um, I know I mentioned earlier about the etching. The only real issue I have with the etching is with the mansion. It could be a tad bit cleaner. It's pretty inconsistent when it comes to the windows the cross at the top of the mansion as well as the doors. Um, same on this side as well, but I feel like what makes up for it is the plating. Um, great plating minus this right here on the side. I'm not too sure if it was like that when the buyer got it or as time went on when the original buyer had it and it could have gotten scratched or possibly like liquid got on it, I'm not really too sure about it. Now, this one does not have the AEW logo plate as well as the um, gold tip. So, like I said, it's kind of like a custom made TNT replica belt. I kind of wish it did have a gold tip. I may get it um, re-leathered and re, I guess, Played it. Not too sure if that's even like a real term, but I really do want to get a gold tip on there. But overall, it's a great looking belt. Like, I can't deny it. Even with those small etching flaws and not having the fifth logo plate and the um, gold tip, it's a great looking belt. Um, I, I keep saying it. I really feel as though this is the best TNT belt on YouTube right now. It's, it looks like a championship belt and it has a great curve, like really, really great curve. Honestly, it reminds me of a wing eagle curve 
um, from back in the day. It's really clean. Um, now what I can point out with this belt, not too sure if the maker or if the original buyer tried to paint it. There are some red uh, blotches here and there. Maybe it did have red on it in the beginning and they took it off. Um, that right there is just a reflection from my um, blanket. But overall, it's a great belt. It looks amazing. Um, floppy test, pretty floppy for the most part. It stands pretty well. Um, it just glistens in the light. Like it's, it's magnificent. Uh, I keep saying it, even though it has those few flaws with the etching, as well as not having the um, logo plate and the gold belt tip, it looks amazing. I love it. This is, oh man, my sixth replica belt in my collection now. So I actually have another belt on the way. It should be here within like the next few months. Um, I'll keep that a secret or a surprise for y'all because y'all will love that unboxing. Um, so just one last look at the belt. Great shine to it, great curve. The TNT logo is really nice too. I see some makers kind of skimp out on the quality of the logo, but here it's it's magnificent. It's really, really nice. And I really can't get over how nice this silver accent is behind the champion. It's very different and it, it just feels more like a real championship belt. Not saying I don't like the current TNT titles, but this right here just emphasizes uh, champion, in my opinion. Kind of wish the maker will improve on the etching and have more detail in the mansion. But overall, for the quality, you get what you pay for. Oh, can't forget the backing. Decent. I believe this is real leather. Doesn't feel like pleather. I believe this is real leather. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a great belt. Um, Nothing else I, I can really say about it, to be honest. It's magnificent. Hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing. It was a pretty quick unboxing. Nothing too crazy like the last one. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.